Hi YouTube. <clears throat> Hi Rose. Still fighting the voice thing. <clears throat> Although I sound better. Feeling better. I wanted to talk to you today about being fake famous. Do you want to be fake famous? Do you want to be famous? Well, I just watched that thing today. Sorry about my mess. I'm cleaning my glasses. My Dollar Tree glasses. I've had them for like ever. Ever. <laughs> um, I watched this documentary on being fake famous. I've, I don't know why I'm interested in watching those things. I always think, how'd they do it? How'd they get a million likes? How did they get, you know, a million subscribers? How did they get, uh, you know, Instagram famous overnight? It drives, drives me nuts. Had that, you know, little girl in New York pretend like she was a billionaire and she scammed a lot of people. Sorry about the light here. I have to watch those documentaries. They really, really get to me. You know, I don't want to be famous. I want to be able to make it so that I am earning money. You know, it would be nice to earn a little bit of money here and there and fund my retirement, which would be nice. But I was watching these and the fake famous documentary. I really got into it watching what these people did. And in the fake famous documentary, they take three people that they interviewed out of hundreds, thousands, I don't know how many. And he pulled three that they worked with. And one really made it. The very first thing that they did for these three people was they bought them box. And let me tell you, don't spend your hard-earned money. Do not do it. Now, one person, it worked for her. It got her a lot of attention and it got her attention fast through all kinds of companies started she started brand deals and you know you don't want to fake your way to the top like that you do not need to buy yourself bots everything else they did was somewhat legitimate somewhat you know they went out and they did the photo shoots and different areas and trying to get hotel brand deals and stuff like that. Um, that was pretty awesome. Kind of seeing how they did their things, you know. You want to go do a photo shoot? Get some of your best friends together or get, you know, if you know somebody that's a cameraman and can really do a really good photo shoot, hire them. Yeah, spend a couple dollars or tell your friends, I will take you all out for lunch. This is what I need done. Now, I don't wear makeup. Heck, I haven't dyed my hair in I don't know how long. And I'm dealing with this blizzard up here. We only got about five inches, so it's not a true blizzard. But you can see the weight of my hair coming out. It's coming out pretty bright. Really bright. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not even worried about it. I go on YouTube and I talk about my flaws. You know, I modeled when I was younger, way younger. I'm a lot older now. I tell people I'm 34, but I'm truly not. <laughs> you know, you do what you have to do to make things work. You got some older pictures, go ahead and put them up on Instagram. But take some new ones and throw them up there too. You know, I can dress up. And I can buy really great clothes. But you know what? I buy my clothes at thrift stores. And yes, I buy high-end brand clothes at thrift stores. I will search all day. Last time I went to a thrift store, I bought a brand new, it looked brand new, it didn't have the tags on it, Barrow Wang shirt. Oh, I was so excited. I found a bear wang. Let me tell you, that there was really, really impressive. I love my bear wang shirt. 
I picked it up at a thrift store. You know, you don't need to blow all your money paying people thousands of dollars to go sit in a fake private airplane. You know, it's a tube with some chairs in it and some fake windows. And they give you some champagne and they do a photo shoot with you in there. Do you know how many people are doing that? To become Instagram famous? You're paying a lot of money. They are paying $5,000 to go on some kind of influencer trip that for three days you go out and they supply the clothes, the makeup, and, you know, the hairstyles, and you drive around to different locations and get your picture taken. Let me tell you, go to the thrift store, pick out some nice clothes. Go out with some friends to a bunch of different locations and take some pictures. You don't have to be fake famous. Be yourself. Be yourself. Show yourself having fun. Do a video on becoming fake famous. See what see what kind of attention you get. Oh my goodness. I could not believe that woman in that fake famous documentary she skyrocketed in five months. And then, of course, COVID hit pretty hard. Everything got locked down. But she skyrocketed in five months. They pretty much did everything okay. I would not go out and sit in a pretend private jet and take pictures. No. I, I wouldn't do that. I would not go and put pictures or a green screen behind me and pretend I'm in Paris. I would not do that. I'm not going to go join any secret societies or anything like that. And yes, YouTubers and Instagram, the Instagram socialites are doing that now. Like, it floors me. Why? Why would you do that? Do not do that. <laughs> you want a secret society, start one yourself, but don't be doing all that evil stuff, you know, with it. And I'm not saying they're all evil. I'm saying some of them are. Um, just really think. You know, do you have to do your hair and your makeup and look your best? That's great. Look your best for the day. I applaud you. Go out and take some pictures. But don't be fake famous. Don't be out there, you know, pretending you're the next Gucci. Like, really think about these things. Oh, I would love an Armani suit. They have these suits for females. Beautiful. I would love it. I have never found one in a thrift store, but I still keep my eyes open. Because you never know when something like that just might pop into your hands and you're getting it for next to nothing. But I still would not do what some of these influencers are doing just to be fake famous. And they're getting attention for it. I don't give them attention. I do not go on to see what they're doing next. I do not, whatever fake country they're supposed to be flying into. It, it doesn't work. You know, it's kind of funny where some people started these programs and uh, it, it, it was really shocking. So you pay to join these programs and they help you learn how to make money now, not all of them do this. Some of them are very legitimate. But some of them are so fake that the people that start them are putting out these fake videos on them being in these other countries and what they do. You know, I was really surprised. So some of these fake people get celeb celebrity status, like true celebrity status. And... They bought 500,000 fake bots.
to get them there. They truly did. Why? Do it organically. I love my comments. I love my likes. I don't get a whole lot. That's okay with me because I'm growing organically. But this whole fake stuff. Don't put yourself down there. Don't go down that tube. You want to be famous, do it organically. Go out, do your photo shoots. You can convince your friend to, hey, why we're over here? Take some photos of me for my Instagram or take some photos for me for whatever. Or maybe we can do a video quick, you know, on how much fun we're having at this spot, you know. Look, as you can find things to go, go do the salt mines in Utah or in Ohio and, you know, go do a bunch of different things. Just, hey, we're going to take the day and we're going to go do this, you know. Might have sleep in our cars overnight because we have no money for a hotel. Just go do it. Have fun, you know, but be original. Be as original as original can be. Let me tell you, I modeled, and that was the whole thing. Take pictures, take pictures, take pictures. I get so tired of taking pictures. I really did. Um, and then I got out of that stage. You know, my kids were getting, growing up. You know, I modeled at the age of five. I modeled uh, between the ages of 20 and 26, I believe. You know, my kids were getting older and it was more difficult to do. And I did small time. Mostly, most of it was like promotional work. You know, so I didn't get paid that much. And sometimes they'd have you like, huh, standing on a street corner handing out, you know, little samples of cigarettes. Or standing in front of a store and handing out cigarette coupons. All kinds of crazy stuff. Oh my, it, it really was crazy. <clears throat> you know, but I had fun doing it. I truly did. But it was I did a lot of promotional work. And I'm very small in stature, so I'm only 5'1". That's pretty short for a model. <laughs> but I didn't need to be famous back then either. Even when I was young, I was more into, you know, raising my kids than anything. You know, my kids are my life. They're, that's all I had, my children, you know. They were, that's what was important to me, having a house over my children's head. That was important. Paying my bills was important to me. You don't have to be celebrity-style famous. Let me tell you, a lot of them fake their way to the top. You can fake your way to the top if you want. But people at some point is going to see through. And if you're buying fake bots or if you're buying fake likes and fake subscribers, people are eventually going to catch on to that too. Don't want to go down that road. Just keeping out, putting out real organic content. Be yourself. Oh my goodness. I want to be myself. I don't want to be somebody else. I do not need to be a fake billionaire heiress <laughs> scamming people in New York. No. I do not want to do that kind of stuff. I do not want fake accounts on my Instagram. You know, now the hair places, you know, for huge money deals that you get through branding... Now, they double-check your accounts and look to see if you have fake bots on there. They look, you know, they have that technology to go in and check to see what is going on. And you know it's fake when you get these, like, really fake comments. Uh, and you get comments from some people that they don't speak English well, so they give you the same comment the entire time, but it, you can go on and you can see they're a real person, <laughs> you know what I mean, you kind of have an understanding, okay, they're, you know, they don't speak my language that well, I understand, and them I just 
I realize that's just them trying to be, you know, nice. I understand that. But don't buy fake comments. Do not buy fake likes. You're destroying yourself and inside. It will get to you. You will feel guilty about doing it. Watching that fake document or fake famous documentary really impressed me. You know, it started with the one guy right off the bat. He's he was not impressed. He was not impressed with the fake. One person already called him out on uh, the fake bots right away. And he had just an overwhelming guilt. It will eventually get to you. Be yourself. Start over. Do your own thing. Be impressive. You don't have to change everything about you. You don't need the fancy jewelry. You don't need the fancy hairdos that's costing you five, six hundred dollars. You do not need, you know, those high-end shoes that cost you $1,200 to buy. I'm buying that stuff at thrift stores. Really. I will, sometime I will take you through a thrift store and show you. Maybe when I'm in Florida. I just might do that. Because in Florida, oh yeah, you can find the higher-end stuff really good. I got Michael Kors shoes at a thrift store. Beautiful shoes. I absolutely love them. Now, those shoes, I did have to go get the heels fixed on them. They weren't replaced. They were fixed. Um, where the leather was coming up from the heels. So, whoever originally owned them went dancing in their Michael Kors shoes. That's a no-no. Don't treat your shoes like that. Those are not dancing shoes. You know, but I got them next to nothing. Cost me $10 to get them repaired at a repair store. You know, repair shoe repair store. Really, really, really think before you do something and say, do I really want to be famous celebrity type? You know, people wanting to grab my hair in places I don't want to walk in and people recognize me to the point where they won't have to touch my hair I, I don't think so you know I don't like to be I like a space between me and other people don't be like running up and giving me these hugs <laughs> I will hug people I just do not like People that I don't know coming up and touching me. There's just something there about it. Uh, if you want to be famous, get there doing it the correct way. If you want to hire some college kids to help you out because you don't know how to do, you know, post the reels and post the whatever, hire somebody to help you. If you want to you know, hire somebody to do your copywriting for you. That's that's up to you. But don't buy fake bots. Don't go sitting on fake airplanes or putting a green screen up of Paris behind you and pretending you're in Paris. Your neighbor knows where you're sitting. <laughs> and if he's watching, he's like, oh, not in Paris. She's at home. What the heck is she doing over there? Really think about those things. You know, people do have eyes. They do see you. They know when your car is in the driveway. Consider it. Really consider it. You can watch that documentary. It really enlightened me to how people are becoming a most celebrity status trying these things. And I was very impressed with how they did things. But you don't need fake bots to get there. People like you for you. 
and that's what you want. You want people that like, they want to hear you talk. They want to see what you're doing for the day. Some people are interested. They're interested in watching you walk through the grocery store. They are interested in see what you're eating for the day. They want to know, well, you know, that's the nosiness comes out in all of us. We're all curious. We're all curious little cats. We all have our own type of curiosity. Be original. Any way you can do it. I love you, YouTube. Out to all of yous. You are my favorite people in the whole world. Because I'm more on YouTube than I am anywhere else. And I thank you for watching me. Let's keep it original. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. I want to know what your comments are and what you think about it. Love you, YouTube. Bye.